all right hello everyone welcome back to my channel i haven't done one of the and what is going on with my hair i'm just using hairdresser clips at the moment what a huge vibe um anyway yeah welcome so basically i'm back to do another youtube video and by now you would have seen the title is just a bit of a q a um i had i did a kind of question box on why am i fiddling i'm sorry I got a fair few questions on my Instagram and I've been having like um, a lot of new kind of love on my socials um, and a lot of new um, new followers with a lot of the same questions so I thought I would just do a big video to kind of go through it all. Um, let's jump into it. So I've actually had some really interesting questions so far. Um, so first one is who are your style influences? Um, I don't know for style. I kind of, I, I guess I see things on like brands and things like that. There's no one that like directly comes to mind when I think of like style influences. My for you page, probably that's literally where i've been getting all my inspo from lately yeah that's a tricky one but next question favorite youtubers emma chamberlain i literally could watch her all day i actually have my youtube app i could probably see who i follow and it signed me up i don't know my password i'm one of those people that's really bad with passwords mm. please auto fill me no i'm just gonna check um, also, this activewear set is from Amen. I have a discount code for them. I live in their activewear. They're so stunning. Um, and I've basically got the whole ribbed seamless collection. It's stunning. Why am I signed into my boyfriend's YouTube? Jai, stop doing that. Like Minecraft and like Fortnite videos and things like that. I don't even know that's what he does. Oh, I literally, it's all the golf. Logan Paul fights. Surviving 24 hours floating in a sea tent. Swap accounts. Think I'm not even logged in. Awesome. I love the Meshka twins. I love watching um, their videos. That's something I really do like. Um, Saffron Barker. Also love her. She's really like funny. She's really funny. Yeah, I'd probably say that's like all I watch to be honest. How can I find, I'm so bad at this, how can I find who I subscribe to? Uh, yeah, to sum it up, we're going Emma Chamberlain, Saffron Barker, I'm pretty sure she's from the UK, the Meshka Twins, um, I used to really enjoy like Mitch and Chloe's family vlogs. Sarah's Day is really interesting. I just like watch random stuff, like random people doing random makeovers or tutorials. And I'm obsessed with Francesca from Too Hot to Handle in the first season. So I always watch hers as well. Wow, I actually came through with that. Go to accessories. Um, I love like a gold pendant or a gold necklace. This one that I'm wearing is from Kate and Cole. I don't know if that's gonna focus, please. Oh, it's got little Dan Montes in it, it's really pretty. Um, and then my gold hoops. So I have these two here. This larger one at the front is from Michael Hill. Yeah, that's what it's called, Michael Hill. Um, and then the back one is from Goldmark. My nan and my boyfriend have both gotten me those over the years. My kind of, these are my accessories that I like, literally don't take off. My signet ring is from Enigma Jewelers at the Market Town in Newcastle. And this was my grandma's and this, my boyfriend's mum got it for me as well. So I'm, yeah, that's my go-to accessories. Other than that, um, like my staple bag is probably my Louis, um, Multi pochette, pochette. I don't know. I don't even know how you say it. It's just cute, or like a nice like Peter and Jane brown or like nude bag that goes with everything. Yeah. Um, favorite places to shop online. This is a good one. I love um, at the moment Princess Polly, like a white fox. We love. Look, I'm not gonna lie. I probably only shop on like Princess Polly unless it's like something really fun. Where else do I shop? cotton on factory i don't actually shop with like most of these brands i work with them so i do receive a lot of stuff from them um my entire wardrobe is literally like cotton on factory and factory especially are coming out with some real bangers lately um 
but yeah they're kind of my go-to's I love your style. What do you do with your old clothes? Depop account or something? Okay, I have tried Depop. I am not good at Depop. I can't figure it out. It's too hard. There's so many fees involved. It's like hectic. I recently did um, a big sale with Sunshine Dreamer at their warehouse, their last warehouse. I think they have a new one now. But yeah, so I recently did one with them, um, which was really fun. Huge turnout and I sold. Um, I literally had like four racks of clothing and I had like half of one left at the end of the day. So I literally kind of, I think I prefer just getting rid of them in bulk like that. There is a new thing called Poshmark that I'm looking into. It looks kind of really cool um, and hopefully a little bit easier to use. So I'm going to be looking into that. So stay tuned for that. Do you find that the Amen and Stax Active are suitable, suitable for high intensity exercise? This is one of the Amen sets now. Yes, I think so. I do like... I don't even know if I do high intensity of exercise. I do Pilates on the reformers and like, is that high intensity? Because if so, yes, I live in these. That's literally all I wear. Um, but I don't know. It's tricky. High intensity. Like, I guess I do high intensity. You're such an inspiration to me. What's something that you always keeps you motivated? I think getting feedback from you guys and like when I do kind of question boxes and even like just replies to my posts and my stories or your kind words and things like that it really does keep you going like I think if there was no kind of feedback on the other end and I wasn't getting anything from my followers I'd be like this isn't really worth it but hearing all of the kind like feedback and kind words definitely helps um, to motivate me to keep going and to do more kind of in this industry um how you got into social media this is interesting so i feel like it was probably like three years ago um i was doing a heap of modeling well not a heap i was like doing random modeling in my kind of small town and from there brands started like reaching out i remember reaching out to glassons and i was like hey i would love to work together and they sent me they would like sent me back a gift voucher and they're like hey like um, choose whatever you want like here's the requirements of posting we'd love to have you on board as like an influence well, not an influencer but like a content creator or something like that and that was probably like three years ago and I've worked with them ever since so that was probably like my first collab and then from posting glasses other brands were like oh okay like so she does stuff for them we'll get her to do stuff for us and then it kind of just rolls from there beforehand I was just like tagging brands from shoots I was obviously um, getting a little bit more exposure as well from photographers and like makeup artists and other creatives so that kind of did boost kind of my engagement at the start um but it's definitely something that you have to keep working on like how to get brands to notice you same kind of feel it's it's literally just tagging like reaching out align yourself with the brand like post things that they would want to post you can work with someone they like give you a collab and you're like, oh, I've got this really like hot photo that I'm going to post in this dress and you post it. But like, yeah, you might look hot in the photo, but it's, it doesn't go with their feed. It doesn't go with anything that they'd be able to post. It doesn't align with the brand themselves. So they're like, oh, cool. Thanks for that photo. But like, we can't repost it and it doesn't really align with our brand. So we're not going to work with you again. So just making sure that the content that you're producing for the brand, if you are kind of on a collaboration basis um is working for both parties it goes with your feed it potentially could go with theirs etc what is your job outside of social media also love your style um i work in retail i get this question a lot i don't really like sharing where i work it's kind of something that i'd rather keep to myself um i'm only there part-time and i do like social media um for the other half of my time but yeah um, how did you become an influencer? I th it's literally accident. Like I was just shooting and then all of a sudden collabs and then growing. Um, it is, it is definitely hard work. Like you have to keep at it. I mean, I have been stunted in like follow accounts for so long. I remember I was on like 8,000 followers for so long. I got stuck at 15.8 for so long. Like I'm talking like a year I was on 15.8 and it's just like, your content's got to be interesting and people want to, people want, have to want to follow you. I don't know. I feel like my content wasn't interesting for you. 
What is my dream job? Actually, it would be a radio host. I feel like I could talk to a brick wall. Yeah, I think it would be super interesting. I am not like built for uni though. I can't study and I, can't, I like, oh, I can, but like I've got a short attention span, memory span, all that fun stuff. It just doesn't really work out. I've tried it. Um, a few videos back, I literally was like, I'm doing law at uni. Like, no, no, you're not, sis. I watched Suits and then I thought I was doing law. Um, but yeah, definitely my dream job is probably like a radio host. I'd love to, or like a TV presenter. I think that would be really fun. Like imagine walking in people to the, to the show, or like introducing people or like, what about a, um, the voice judge? That'd also be really, I feel like you gotta be a singer for that though. So something along those lines would be really fun. Have you ever had to remove things and people out of your life to keep a positive mindset? Um, yes, this is a huge thing I've been dealing with as of lately. Like if something's not filling you, then you have to get rid of it. Like I strongly believe that everything is put in your path for a reason. So like I may have been friends or like had relationships with people um, for certain amounts of time and that has obviously helped me grow and helped me understand what I want in a friendship or relationship and what I don't want um, and so if you're hanging out with people that don't fill you and don't um, yeah they just don't encourage you and you, you don't feel good around them then it, it doesn't bring positive energy like it does what do you what do you get out of that you just feel really shit so I guess 100% removing people is a big thing for me. What app do you use editing your Insta pics? I use Color Tone at the moment um, and I use, I've put this up the other day. I use the Color Tone collection. So like the app's called Color Tone and then there's like different creators that have their filters within that app. And then, but the actual Color Tone app itself have their own filters. So I've gone through theirs and I use Midsummer 2. I'll see if I can pop it somewhere in one of these regions. I'm not really techno, so I don't know, know how to do it. But um, yeah, I use Midsummer 2 and kind of just like tone it down, adjust a little bit from there. But that's kind of my starting base for most photos. If I am filtering, I haven't been filtering a lot lately. Um, how do you manage your job and being an influencer? It's very tricky. I feel like um, the amount of content and the amount of work that I've been getting on Instagram is definitely like a full-time kind of role. I have just kind of signed with Vive Management, which is very exciting, which takes a lot of my plate in terms of like emails and like reaching out, collaborations, like um, contracts, price negotiation. Everything is literally done for me, which is phenomenal. The girls are so amazing. And it has taken such a big weight off my shoulder. And yeah, I'm getting more work than ever from them. So that is kind of probably a huge factor as to how I'm, how I'm managing at the moment. What car do you drive? I drive a Golf. Um, yeah, I have a, I think it's like a 2014, 20, I don't know. I, look, I don't know, um, but it's silver. Try to cute. Um, why did I sing that? Favorite affordable place to get baggy jeans from? Hmm. I would say Cotton On or Factory, to be honest. That's where I've been shopping. All my denim is mainly from there. Um, yeah, all the Cotton On denim is literally called like baggy straight jean baggy something jean, straight leg jean, they're all kind of like baggy. Factory have got kind of, I mean they're all the one company, but Factory have got similar, but like really fun colors and styles. Factory's jeans are always more unique, which I love. Um, but yeah, definitely one of those two is probably your best bet to get some. And they're very affordable, they're probably like 50 bucks, and like some jeans can go up to like two, $230. Like that is outrageous, I'm sorry, no one's, no one's doing that couple more questions and we'll wrap up because I don't really like doing long videos. I'm a bit new here. Um, I have a lot of questions about my tan. So I'm going to answer it. I use Bali Body Tanning products. Um, I use the One Hour Express. That's like mainly what I use. And I sleep in it. It gives me the best color. It lasts. Like I slept in this, woke up, washed it off. And it's already like developed into this stunning color. I love it. I use the face tan water. I use the face tanning moisturizer. The exfoliating mitt is really good from there as well. 
what is it called? Like tan remover foam. However, I like just prefer to scrub sometimes. If I have something really tough, that helps to get it off. Um, but I generally just like exfoliate the actual shite out of myself. And then I'm like red raw, ready to go again. That sounds really bad. Um, how old are you? I am 22. I turned 22 on April 17th, so I'm an Aries. How do you keep your hair looking so healthy? This is a good one. Literally don't know. I use, I have been getting really bad dandruff actually. So I've been using, I think it's called Matrix Biolace Anti-Dandruff. And it's been doing a good job. I also got a hair mask that I put on after that. And I'm, I'm still a little bit dandruffy, but it's not near, nearly as bad. Like I like literally could not wear my hair down for a certain point. Cause I was like, this is insane. I use the Olaplex bonding oil. I put that in the ends and I only use heat on my hair probably like once or twice a week. So yeah, when I wash my hair and then blow dry it, straighten it, curl it, whatever I do, that lasts me like a good five days, five, six days. Is that bad? I use a lot of dry shampoo because it just gives you so much volume. Like it's nuts. Cream blush stick. What do you use? What cream blush stick do you use? I use the Nude Sticks Sweet Peach Peony and then I set it with the NARS Orgasm Powder. Stunning. Have you always had confidence and self-esteem or did you work to achieve it? I feel like it's definitely something you have to work on um, and you can't let other people kind of get in the way of that because that's a bit lame. And I know it sounds... It sounds easy. It is It is quite tricky, but it's definitely something that you just have to kind of put everything aside and just be like, this is me. Like, what can you do? You're literally born yourself. Like, what are you going to do? You just have to cop it and you have to love yourself. That's that's my great life advice for you today. Cop it and love yourself. Um, I feel like there's a lot more questions here, but I've kind of answered them. Okay, I'll do one more. What's your most used or favorite makeup product? And it at the moment is the, um, I'm coming a bit closer. At the moment, my favorite product is the Drunk Elephant Glow Drops. Um, they are stunning. You can literally have no makeup on and just put them on. It like bronzes you a little bit. And then I highly recommend it. Even if I've got a full face on, it just like, it's your bronzer. It's so stunning. That is probably my favorite product because you can use it with, without makeup. It adds to your face. It doesn't make you look cakey. It's just like the most natural, glowy, Mwah, chef's kiss. Yeah. All right. I think I'm done talking. This video is a very long time. I'm so sorry. Just stopped on me. Sorry. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of this video. I actually really liked making it, which is pretty random. Um, and would like to make some more if you guys are keen. Let me know what you think. Um... Yeah, I'll be here. Bye.